Hi, I'm Fiona Penny. I compete in the kayak women's category in canoe slalom and I'm going to my second Olympic Games in Rio. The object of canoe slalom is to go down a white water course that is around 250 metres to 300 metres long. Sometimes the courses are artificial and sometimes they are natural. We have to negotiate a course of gates which are poles hanging over the water. There are around 25 gates on the course. The green and white gates have to be gone through in a downstream direction and the red and white gates have to be done in an upstream direction. There are around six upstream gates on the course. The challenge is to go through the gates as cleanly as possible, that being that you don't hit the gate at all with any part of your equipment or your body. If you do, you get a two second penalty added onto your time. If you miss a gate entirely or only get half of your head inside the gate, then you have a 50 second penalty added to your time. In the Rio Olympics, there are four categories. There are three men's categories, which are the kayak singles, Canadian doubles and Canadian singles. And there's one female category, which is the kayak women's category. This is my kayak, which is made of a mixture of carbon and carbon kevlar. In a kayak, we sit in a seat like this, with our feet out in front of us, pressed against some pedals there at the front. Paddlers can choose different models of designs based on their preferences. The boats have to be 3.5 metres long and 8 kilograms in weight. This is a single canoe. It's the same length as a kayak and the same width. The paddler kneels in the boat with their legs in underneath them. They strap their legs in with these quick release straps so if they need to get out in a hurry, they can manage it. This is a double canoe. It's a little bit longer at 4.1 meters long. It has to be 0.75 meter wide and 13 kilos in weight. Obviously, there's two people in the boat. They again have their knees beneath them and they're strapped into the boat again. The front man generally does a lot of the power and the back man is the one who does all the steering. These are the paddles that we use in canoe slalom. On my left, I have a kayak paddle. These are what we use in the kayak women's category and the kayak man's category. And this is a canoe paddle, which we use in the canoe doubles and the canoe singles. This is the kayak paddle. It's made out of carbon and it has one blade on each end of the shaft. The shaft can be of a different stiffness. We choose what we would like. And we also choose what shape we like, based on our own personal preference. This is a canoe paddle. The paddlers can choose which side they wish to paddle on, either on the right or on the left. They have a T-piece at the top, which is their top hand. Also, the paddler can choose to paddle on the crossbow side when they want to do a stroke on the opposite side to which they're used to. This is what we call a cag deck. Basically, we put this over ourselves and the spray deck here goes over the cockpit and holds on so that no water goes inside our boat. This is the point side. Put it on over our heads and it will keep us afloat when we're on the water. It has to be up to an ISO standard to pass all the regulations. This is our helmet. It has to be strapped up, up to standard again, made of carbon. Keeps us protected should we hit any of the poles or the rocks on the river. So now you know all there is to know about Canoe Slam. You can follow us all on our road to Rio at, at Planet Canoe. We'll see you on the water. <laughs>